Good morning. It's been almost five years since the deadliest anti-Semitic attack in American history. And now today we could possibly learn uh, uh, really the fate of the convicted shooter, Robert Bowers, whether or not he will be receiving life in prison or the death penalty. And that'll be, of course, decided by the jury during these deliberations. Prosecutor Eric Olshin began closing arguments yesterday, telling the jury once again about each of the 11 victims killed, pointing out vulnerability because of ages and disabilities. The prosecutor played 911 calls over again and retraced some of the steps victims took inside the Tree of Life Synagogue that October 27, 2018 day. He says Robert Bowers is not mentally ill, rather a white supremacist who, likes to kill people and acted out of religious hatred with lack of remorse. Now, the defense attorney for Bowers, Judy Clark, told the jury they can't relive the horror that day that happened that day. She says instead they must make the right decision going forward, which she says is life for Bowers. She says Bowers was mentally ill as a child and as an adult, he committed these crimes with a serious mental illness, then asked the jury, quote, is that who we should kill? Now, again, these deliberations set to happen at nine o'clock this morning and if the jury does decide to go with this death penalty it has to be a unanimous vote otherwise the judge will just impose life in prison without the possibility of parole live this morning outside of the federal courthouse i'm tori yorkie for pittsburgh's action news fork